guys my name is crystal and welcome to my youtube channel now the time is 9 22 a.m on a lovely thursday my name is crystal welcome to my youtube channel right so my mum rang me this morning to ask me if i'm still going up there i said yes because at, at that point in time i felt okay i felt okay in myself so she said what time would you like me to call the taxi to go up to hers at double gardens i said you choose mum so my mum said she's going to give me a call at 11 30 this morning i have got to take max out for a walk i've done some balloon videos and i felt okay after the phone call, not only did I start to feel depressed for some unknown reason, I started to feel sweaty and hot and very faint. And I still do right now feel sweaty and hot, like I'm going to faint. The cleaners are going up and down the road, you know, with their trolleys. I don't feel angry, I don't feel cross, I just feel a bit unwell. There was a phone call on an 0345 number, you know, like my son rings me on WhatsApp. So about 20 minutes ago, there was a call on an 0345 number, probably a debt. Um, it's either my son or debt people ringing me at the moment. So I had that. Then 150 top up you, your phone you need to add some credit um, I don't use that phone that's pinging I'm using this one and it's got credit on it um, so we're not having phone calls from actual people or friends or family we're having calls from debt companies and you know 150 telling me to top up my phone so that's all it is this morning. The phone keeps going off, trying to make me cross because they're asking me for money I haven't got and they're asking me to top up a phone I don't use, which is fine. So what I'm saying is I'm waiting for my mum to ring me back to say that um, she's organising the taxi to pick me up because at the moment, round here, you know, my next door neighbour went out with her partner. The one next door to me is married or got a partner and she's got children. Okay, so she went out with her long hair down the back with a pair of shorts like I was wearing yesterday. I've got jeans on today, it's cold out there. So she went off in a pair of shorts, denim shorts next door. And I'm in denim jeans and her hair's right down her back and there was a dog going as they were walking past. Woof! 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 So she bent down to stroke the dog. That's exactly what I would do, by the way. If a dog starts barking when you're walking past, you know, you just got to be careful it's not dangerous and it doesn't bite your hand off. But she bent down and, and stroked the dog that was going, Woof! Woof! And I only went to the window because the dog was making so much noise. You know what I mean? It sounds, it, oh, it's a really strong woof. So I came back in and I was doing the, my balloon videos. I mean, it doesn't, dogs bark everywhere. It's not just down this street, is it? I mean, up in London at Battersea Dogs Home, it must sound terrible. So I came back in and, um, you know, I've got short hair. I'm older than the woman next door. I'm single, but I went out last night. I had a nice meal. You know, my mum has asked me to go around there. And because, you know, I love, the, I love Rochester. I love the area. I really do. But when you get depressed and fed up at the same old routine, dogs barking, phone calls trying to make you angry and you know people putting hoods over their heads 
Well now I don't mind because it's like winter and it's not winter but autumn, it's getting towards autumn now and people will wear hoods on their head. But that doesn't bother me because I know I'm okay and I know there's nothing wrong with me and I'm going to stay single probably forever and I really don't mind. I, I quite enjoyed it. Do you know yesterday, for the first time, I went out by myself and did what I wanted to do. You know, I, I really enjoyed myself. I walked Max and we took some photographs, we did some videos and I actually enjoyed myself. And you know, if it's a day like that again, I'll actually have a sandwich, have my drink and sit down and have a picnic by myself. And it's wonderful, the sense of freedom with nobody about, you know, I went to a place where there was absolutely nobody to piss me off. And it, it's my place, it's my space. And nobody there to piss me off, you know. You know everyone, you should have a space where you go to when you're really miserable and upset and everything's get you down. And I've got one now. And I'm not saying where it is. But if anyone pisses me off in the future, I should just go there and just meditate, relax and have my time, right? Because at the end of the day, you come into this world, you're, you're alone, you leave it alone. What other people say and do is absolutely irrelevant. It's what you do with your time. You do with what, you know, if you want to sit there and be miserable and be hateful, that is, that is wasting time. If you use your time to be nice to people, to donate money to good causes and, and not to waste it on drugs and drink, you know, that is your prerogative. But wasting your time to keep on and on and on bullying somebody is eating away at you, not me, you. So when you keep going, you're fat, you're ugly, you know, and why are you on this planet, you, you know. And, you know, ET, ET stands for extraterrestrial. Do I look like ET? Does me, Crystal, look like ET the alien? I think they're actually referring to my mother, Jennifer, right? Because my, my poor mum's got alopecia and she wears eye makeup. E.T. phone home. So, I mean, I don't look like an alien at all. Aliens are bald. Well, the, the ones that are portrayed in the movies are bald. They're totally bald. And I've got hair, thank you. So, you know, when I went up to the co-op yesterday, there was a car with the number plate E.T., which stands for extraterrestrial which in other words is an alien. Now I know they called Lizzie Velasquez an alien, you know, an alien, and she's blind in one eye and she's very thin. And she's become a successful person, a person that does speeches about being bullied. And she has been labelled the most ugliest person in the world. And she's got up and she's made speeches and that is somebody bullying a woman that is blind in one eye and has a, a dis disability right it's disgusting they've made videos about her they've taken the piss and she gets up every morning and doesn't give a shit and she's my role model see you later